In the last video, we had seen how we can register the Sophos Central Admin uh, for managing Sophos-based products, including endpoint protection, server protections, mobile and encryptions, even email gateway as well. Now, in this video, we will see how we can install and how we can implement the policy for the endpoint protection. So, uh, we have already logged on on the dashboard. So we'll go on the uh, endpoint protection option and uh, see if you have clicked on the endpoint protection so it had just uh, redirected on the endpoint protection dashboard. So currently we haven't installed any uh, agent on, uh, on any client machine. So it is uh, just a blank option over here. So uh, first we need to install the uh, the, the product, I mean agent on the client machines and which will just report to the Sophos Central Admin over here. So I'm going to click on the protect devices. So once you will click on the protect devices, so it will just show the endpoint protection installer for Windows or Mac because uh, endpoint protection can only be installed on Windows and Mac for the Sofo, from the Sophos Central Admin. So, uh, Protect Devices provided a way to download the agent or uh, even you can send the installers to users as well to their email account. And so, I will just download the installer via clicking on the Download Complete Windows Installer or you can choose the product what you want to uh, download or you want to install on the client machine. So uh, I have just click on the download installer. So I will go through the download a complete Windows installer or uh, choose component. So first I will see choose component over here so once you have click on that icon so it is just uh, asking to use this options to install only some of your licensed software on new machines and if you would like to add software to machines that already managed select the select it on the computer page so we'll see later this all options so currently I am going to download the installer this has been downloaded now. I will click on the Sophos setup. So once I clicked on Sophos setup which has been downloaded so it is just checking the uh, pre-installer and it is asking to restart asking for the restart recommended so force recommends that you restart the computer before installation so uh, i will click on the continue and uh, once i click on the continue so it is saying that to install these two options it will just install device encryption and uh, intercept x advanced with edr so i am going to click on the install because basically intercept x ad advanced with adr protects against malware exploits web threats and ransomware plus advanced threat analysis as well so we'll go through one by one these all options and uh, also uh, be, uh, whenever you are installing the sophos uh, endpoint agent so it will completely uninstall the third party security software automatically so I'm going to click on the install. It will just uh, register this product, this endpoint machine with the Sophos Central Admin Console from where which we have downloaded the agent package. Now it is just downloading and it will take uh, about 10 minutes to install the products on this client machine. So we need to wait for 10 minutes approx. Uh, still it is in the process of installation on the client machine and uh, we need to wait again. 
we are just getting the message restart required to complete cleanup so uh, so once product will be installed so you will get a notification for the restart of the endpoint and uh, here when i am going to click on the so force endpoint on the client machine so i can see this all product has been installed and uh, it is just saying that threat detected please contact IT and this is status of the products on the client machine and uh, events here you will get the notification and you will get the uh, cleanup related things how Sophos has detected and cleaned your uh, system and uh, here you can see again I am getting the message over here and uh, detection is there so in the detections how many uh, detections uh, ha happened on the machine how many malwares has been detected on the client so these all notifications and detections and status you can see on the client machine and uh, you even you can make a scan over here and uh, you can click on the admin sign in here this is uh, here you can enter the password so we need we will set these all passwords including uh, including a, a temper protection password and other options uh, on the endpoint protection policies and all here you can see the about options in the about options you will get the details about the product which is installed on the client machine and this is the help self help tool so this is really user friendly and um, very e very uh, easier to manage on the client as well as also on the server so uh, so force provides uh, uh, user friendly products for it administrator as well as also for the for the end user who can just understand and who can share the details with the administrator for any kind of troubleshooting and uh, now we have get a complete installation successful notification on the client machine and it is just asking to restart the uh, machine uh, to install or to make changes on the client as well as all, also on the Sophos central admin i'm going to click on the finish i will restart later so the product has been installed on the client machine and uh, even here you can see the endpoint status I mean how many uh, endpoint uh, has been uh, managed uh, or, or how many endpoints are going to be managed or uh, on the so force central admin so currently we have installed this product on a single machine so I'm I'm getting a notification over here one active and uh, this is a computer where we have installed so this is the endpoint computer activity status and uh, here you will get the computer name where we have installed this is a questionable I will click on this machine and it is just uh, saying that the number of detections occurred on this machine and you can take the action accordingly on the client machines where detections occurred and uh, you can click on the update now so you can directly update this machine and uh, the last username the user who has just logged on this machine even you will you can isolate this machine so user uh, in network connectivity or network connections or if in case of any um, virus that is occurred on this machines will not be replicated on the network so you can click on the update now even you can delete this agent or you can take the more actions including scanning diagnosis and create forensic snapshots as well so this is the way which you can follow to install the agent on the client machines 
in the uh, upcoming video we will see how we can configure the policies and all for your uh, installed uh, agent uh, and uh, we'll see how we can configure the uh, password scanning schedule or exception list and all currently this is the uh, basic policy i mean base policy for uh, for the product endpoint security uh, endpoint protection so here you can click add policy for adding a new policy or custom policy for organize for your organization thank you for watching this video